Here we go, Barbie. Welcome to the… Mm, terrific Sue's Beauty Salon. <laughs> Hold on. I'll set everything up. Just a few more minutes. Um, here. Take this magazine. It's very engaging. Okay, I usually start my beauty routine with a face mask. Let's make one using a wet wipe. Carefully cut out an oval shape of the right size. Then we'll make tiny cuts so it'll adjust to our pretty girl's face. There we go. We'll fold the mask like this to make openings for the eyes. Be careful with the scissors, guys. Hop. Yay! It turned out very realistic, didn't it? A cool design package is a must, too. Awesome! This'll smoothen out the wrinkles and make your skin glow. Oh! Our Barbie can't wait to start her makeover! Here you go, miss. First, it's your beauty day, so… Please relax, close your eyes, calm down and breathe soothingly. Ah… <laughs> Whoa! A rumor about the beauty day spread it out among dolls! Well, Terrific Sue's beauty salon welcomes everyone! Oh, amazing! Let's see, we'll take this off… Hop… And hop! All right! Aha! It turned out great! Hmm, shall we brush our hair? Oh no! A giant brush! Ah! Oh, well, it is pretty big, actually. Oh, what's this? Air clay? Huh, I think I know what we can do with this. We'll roll even strips of three colors. And then make a colorful twister like this. Paint and cut off toothpick tips. Coat a cushion with transparent nail polish. You can even glue a tiny mirror on the backside. <laughs> A twister handle is now attached too. It's so tiny. Aww. Can I brush your hair now, miss? This brush can untangle even the most unruly locks. Huh, you wish. Oh, I want to have curls too. Actually, we can make them for you. Give me just a minute. Cut out the middle pieces of plastic eye droplets. We need two cylinders. One should be squeezed into another. Like this. But first, let's make them beautiful. All right. You can pull even more glamorous look. <laughs> now let's make a cut so you can use the hair rollers easily. Check out these pretty things we've made. Barbie, get your hair ready. But how should we use them? Take a thin lock and slide the roller along the length. I want curls too! Whoa, they look so real! Now dry them with hot air so the curls stay longer. Okay, let's see how it looks. Untwist the rollers. Whoa, Whoa so, it's so cool! cool. Uh-huh, let's take out the last roller. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix the hairdo with some hairspray. And it's done! Barbie's ready to take over the world! <laughs> it didn't work! Aha! Uh -huh, our nosy dolls haven't paid attention to the tutorial! Come on, beauty, give me a second, I'll fix everything! Let's move on! We can't do a makeover without some makeup! <laughs> Use an empty pen rod to make a lipstick. Seal one end in a pool of super glue. A short piece will become a lipstick base. Let's speed up the drying out process. Great, thanks Barbie! Oh, I can't wait to try out our new cosmetics! Apply some force. Uh-huh. And it's almost done. Use a piece of a toothpick for a lipstick rod. Attach some holographic paper as a metallic part of the case. Don't forget about the capsule! A bit later. First, we should insert the lipstick and color it pink using nail polish. Let's close the cap and ta-da! Lipstick by Sue is done! Would you mind? Huh? Here we go. Wow, it looks amazing on you, Barbie! 
These two lipsticks are perfect for your friends. Here you go, girls. <laughs> this little thing looks like a mascara brush, right? Use a piece of plastic straw to make a handle. And this piece is perfect to make a mascara case. Let's make it opaque using duct tape. Uh-huh. And add some cute little decor. <gasps> it's a total blast! Let's try the new mascara on. Check it out. <gasps> whoosh, whoosh! <laughs> Her eyelashes are getting longer! Don't fly away, Barbie! Whoa! Now we only need an eyeshadow palette to finish her makeup. Wow, so cool! A shining piece of sticky paper replicates a palette shape. With a mirror like this, you can fix your makeup whenever is needed. Very handy. Here comes a piece of a double-sided duct tape. Pull out a protecting layer, so the eyeshadow palette will close tightly. Here we go! Great! <laughs> oh, you decided to personalize your beauty products! Great! I think it turned out amazing! So, what color are you into today, huh? Oh, this one matches your great eyes! What a beauty! You know what will glow your new look up? Nice earrings! Have you taken your vitamins? Can I borrow this? Thanks! We just need these two pieces for the craft. Oh, new earrings! Fill them up with your favorite glitter and some rhinestones. <gasps> wow! Oh, thanks, girls! These earrings will shine like real diamonds. A chain! Make a chain, please! Cut off excessive cardboard and attach the chain. Use a piece of thin wire to make secure fastenings. Sue's Jewelry House gladly presents to you its new collection. <gasps> wow! Oh. I'll surely make these for myself after the shooting. <laughs> now you're defo ready to shine. Oh. oh, what a pity. You should have used a nail strengthener. Whoosh! It's a great idea! A colorful paper clip works just fine. Actually, we'll use just a tiny piece of its rubber cover. Pull through it a thin needle with a thread to one side, then to the other, and make a tiny loop like a lasso. Take a tuft of brush bristles, tighten the loop and then attach a bead. Choose a right size bead and… a nail polish is ready! Apply it daily and you'll get healthy, strong nails within a week. Uh-huh! Uh-huh. Wait, I'm writing it down! Hey, we should write everything down so it won't slip away. Foam paper pieces will make a nicely done cover for a tiny notebook. We'll glue a paper applique to a thin piece of cardboard. Now cut it out. Uh-huh. It's done! We're gonna need two of these. Let's add some foam paper seeds to resemble a real watermelon. This amount of pages will last pretty long. <laughs> a watermelon-shaped notebook is a bright reminder of summer. You can write down my beauty routine recommendations here. Here's a pencil. Seems like Barbie loves it so far. Should we make a nice jewelry for your hands? Ladies, you don't need so many straws. Hey, we do! Let's make a cute bracelet. Uh-huh. We just need a few sparkling rhinestones. Don't forget to make a neat cut. So you can effortlessly put it on the wrist. <gasps> oh, what a dream! I'll wear it to the ball! <laughs> um, but unfortunately your shoes will be so out of place there. Let's add a couple of neat straps. Much better. But let me finish them first. Good shoes are pretty, but also durable, right? 
Here we go. Check this out, Barbie. It's so pretty. Hey, girls, don't fight. Oh, wow. Ooh, but how can I take it all with me? We should hurry and make a bag for you. Check out what a nice and roomy bag we've got. Let's try and put inside a mascara, a lipstick, and one more. It's all in! Awesome! Well, Barbie, are you happy with your makeover? Oh yeah, it was so much fun! I'm so excited! <laughs> Check out this amazing fabric! The head of our fashion house will be very pleased! Oh, money fee! Excellent! Who did such amazing sketches? Why, what? you did, Mastro! Where can I put on my new dress? Ah, pay chance, miss! We take care of your measurements first! Sammy, are you sure we need all those measures? Absolutely! Here, look at my notes and make patterns for the bodysuit! Yes, boss! Okay, guys, let's see what we've got here! When paper patterns are ready, just cut them off. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Pop, uh -huh. I'm just gonna borrow this for a sec. Hey! Oh, my precious. Soon you'll become a beautiful dress and fulfill your purpose. Hey, are you talking to fabric? Yep. Whoa, mm. whoa, wow! <laughs> That's so fast! <sighs> Next, we'll place the finished pattern on the piece of fabric. Hold them tightly together. Then we'll take scissors and cut out the outline. You're doing great! Be careful on that turn! While you were nagging, I've already finished! How does it look? Hmm… Not bad, Susie! But I need to check it on my model first! Give me that! You know what to do, guys! Just repeat the same steps with other patterns that we've made! Aha! Uh -huh. I think it's time to call for magic song! Huh? Who's that? Oh! I'll show you! Whoa! It's magic saw, you know her pretty well. <laughs> oh yeah, we're well acquainted. So we have a lot of work to do. Well, you know, I founded this fashion house all by myself. Oh, I didn't order any flying fabric. It's a sign to get back to the craft, Sammy. <laughs> Guys, this is the end of the first step. Ask an adult to help you with sewing machine and you'll get such a cute bodysuit. Susan, take care for her fitting. I just caught her stealing snacks from the kitchen. Well, well, like designer, like model. Uh, excuse me, I don't get your references. The bodysuit fits perfectly. So we can attach Velcro to secure it. Adults should help you on this stage. The needles are pretty cunning. Every princess has fallen by their curse. So supervision is a... Hey, Sleeping Beauty, did you prepare fabrics for the sleeves? Why? I asked very good mothers to do that! Oh, wow, what would we do without those magic creatures? <laughs> We're making big wavy sleeves, so we'll place a fabric strip under a presser tool. And make neat small folds! They look so cute! Guys, you can check it out! One piece is ready. Now we'll wrap it around a bodysuit sleeve and sew it up. Going further and further up the sleeve. And finally you'll get… Well, this won't do, Sue. Take it back. A dress with only one sleeve. Hmm, who'd like that? <laughs> huh? What do you say now? You definitely should check Naughty's fashion, Sammy. Guys, Sam's fashion is timeless, so stay tuned to learn all its trends! Guys, we've made additional ruffles to decorate the back and the front, too. Susan, you know what? We're like a big ruffle! Huh, just what we need to make a… Huh? <laughs> 
make a magnificent long skirt. Let's sew our ruffle to the base and add more puffy layers. So are you ready to try on your new outfit? It'll be ready soon! Sam, while you were talking there, I made this. Look! When the skirt is ready, sew its ends to the bodysuit. Here and here. It'll look like a dress train. Use the sequins to finish up the dress! Woohoo! <laughs> It'll look awesome! And our Barbie starts her first fashion runway. Miss, please, Maestro is very busy. Uh -huh, uh huh, a new customer? All right. Uh, luckily, I have something for you. Take it for free. We're kind today. Wow, so pretentious. <laughs> Let's see what our designer creates this time. Whoosh. Oh, my fat, it's a cute ducky. You pull yourself together. Okay. Huh, looks kind of plain to me. Okay, and how about mm. now? Say it's good, huh. isn't it? <laughs> of course it is. Huh, let's see what we can do with it. If we saw them together, it'll look much better. But where's the front side of the dress? Huh. Oh, bite the mozzarella, Susie! Are you looking for something? Yep, you have it actually, thanks. Magic saw, I need your help. Aw, she's such a tight sleeper. Cute, but work cannot wait! Remember that we should make stitches on the inner side of the fabric. It's fitting time! Barbie number two, your turn! Wow! How is it? What about the size? Did you fit in? I'm ready! Holy cannoli! You look amazing! 70% of perfection! Huh? What? Holy 70? What's wrong? Nothing, just the dress isn't finished yet! We'll make it rainbow -y. Guys, get ready for a color splash! We'll make new ruffles of all shades! Now let's saw everything up. You can ask an adult to help you with the sewing machine or make all of the stitches manually. After that, I'll make the rainbow dress sparkle! Can wait! The sequins look so good on you, too. You huh? should start a new trend of the lines. Right! <laughs> then I'll keep some sequins for myself, just in case. <laughs> Ush, my darling, your fairy slime came to rescue you from that mischievous Sam. Spark at the Pyrrhicus! Oh, this silly magic wand! Still looks like you have to do it by yourself. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Oh, thanks, Fairy Slime. Let me save you, too. Oh, thanks, Susan. Just throw that thing away. But it'll be such a waste. Instead, we can use it for a rainbow train. Two magic stitches plus another piece of shine and fabric, and the train is done! Susie, I can't decide which belt is better! They're so different! Oh, oh Tibidaba, they look similar to me! But I like the red one a bit more. What do you think, guys? Sue, are you done there? I can't wait to see her! Wait! We need to make a small presentation! Extras on the scene! Celebrities! Ouch! Shrimmy cheddars! <gasps> Susie, looks like we have a candidate for a thread transformation! Oh! Guys, do you want to see that process? Then stay tuned! Apparently, a modern Cinderella came to ask for help. I found the shoes of the right size! All we need is the right dress! The easiest part! <laughs> anyway, with these patterns, we'll send our princess to the ball today! First, we'll cut out the pieces for the top. We'll use different kinds of fabric for it. You're gonna look amazing! Trust me, slime designers are flawless! The first piece is ready. Let's prepare the others in the same way. Tool fabric creates a soft blending effect. So let's add one layer to the top. And then sew the pieces together. You may need assistance here. Kitty, should I help you too? Huh? Well, if you find a zipper, that'll be great. Thanks, Sammy. Guys, repeat the same steps with other pieces of the top. Follow my lead. Well, we've already 
already made a dress with zipper once. Let's work with Velcro this time. Ah, creative decisions. I like it. We'll place Velcro right here. There we go. Nothing complicated about it. And secure it with a few stitches. Like this. How about a skirt, Sammy? I have one! Wow! Looks like it's gonna be a big puddle skirt. Like for a real ball. All we need to do is attach a waistband in order to shape it. Thank you. Guys, you may ask an adult to help you here, as always. Well, is it ready? Let's see. Whoops, we accidentally hit our model behind. <laughs> <laughs> you have to fold it in half, Susie. My bad. Okay, this'll do then. Now it looks right, huh? Let's put the skirt and the top together with an inner seam. Uh um, where is my princess? We have a date to come. Wow, Sammy, I haven't known that you're royal blood. Of course I am. <laughs> but it's just for tonight. All the princess went MIA all of a sudden. She looks so weird. I mean, the dress is great, but the hairdo. Whoopsie. I haven't finished yet. Susie, wait for time. Then we can add one more detail, guys. The sleeves. Whoosh! One more. And here's the result. <laughs> oh, I can't finish it and the ball is so soon! Uh -huh. huh? Maybe someone magical can help us. <gasps> You're right! Very slime will save the day! Bibbity bobbity subscribity! Let's have a look at all of the three beautiful dresses for our slimy fashion house. didn't work right. No, Susie! I promised Bella unique material for the dress! So don't squish it! Where is the princess? She was right next to me! A clay dress? Ew! I want to be star of the night, not a life sculpture! <gasps> Seems like someone cast a spell on Belle! She became so grumpy! We'll show her the dress and it'll break the evil spell! Okay, then you roll out the clay and I'll take Belle's measurements! Got it! Guys, did you notice that the dress will be pink? <laughs> it's so like Sammy, right? Let's see how he's doing. No way! I don't want to be stuck with the Moony Princess! Uh, let go of me! Belle wants to see the first samples. Let's speed up. Wait, size? Hey, stop fidgeting! I'm working here! Ugh, but Sue's doing something interesting back there. Really? Let's see it! We're lucky that I've taken all of the measurements. Okay, we need a clay piece of this size for the top of the dress. Let's do it! Sounds like we're working with real fabric! Here it is! What do you think, Belle? Do you like it? No! <sighs> okay, what's next, Mr. Designer? Let's make as many tiny folds as we can! One fold to this side, one to another! Wow, it looks really beautiful! Sammy, get our model ready! I'll finish pretty soon! Come on, Belle! You'll like it! Let's take a bet! Look! Guys, it shouldn't take long and you'll get a top piece! Make sure you've made two of them! Here is our model! I had to bribe her with new books. <laughs> Great! Let's put the top on. Belle, stay still. One clay piece goes to the front and the other to the back side. So far it looks like a swimsuit. Belle isn't happy at all! Oh, you've brought the skirt. Hmm, looks pretty modern. Don't worry, Belle. It's just a base to make a full skirt. <laughs> I was just kidding. We won't leave it like this. Sue, let me roll up a piece for the skirt. Sure, Belle is ready for a modern fashion show. I'm on it, Sue! Ugh, I can't do this any longer! Help me out, please! This is a nice piece of clay, but we need to finish the edges. We need six of these pieces. What? Help! I've woken up the base! Let's start making the skirt. The ball is coming soon. Always iron the fabric beforehand. Who said the creases are ugly? In Samshine, they're all the prettiest! Oh, that's for sure. Okay, I'm ready to follow your instructions. 
start with tiny creases on the hem of the skirt. Roll the stick over the edge. It's working pretty well. What does our bell think? Holy cannoli! She's smiling more sincerely than before! Keep going, Sue! Looks like the grumpy spell is fading away. Just one more time, the hem is finished. Can I iron it just a bit? No way! We need more folds on the skirt! Get to the middle now! <sighs> okay, no ironing today. Let's add some volume to the skirt. Sammy, how many creases do you want? <laughs> really? <laughs> what did he say? Uh-huh. I guess I should do it myself. Let's make one diagonal crease. Don't ruin it! It was a serious discussion with the customer. <laughs> and how many folds does she want? Hmm? Hmm. The more the better. These are her exact words. Challenge accepted. Guys, it's gonna be like a workout for your fingers. Even I couldn't make that better. Let's repeat all of the steps and make five more pieces. Whoosh! And here's what we've got. Hey, where's the last one? Susie, it's sabotage! The last piece is ruined! Well, Tibidaba, we can reshape it again. Oop! Oop! I'm sensing evil magic here! Ah. Show up, witch! <laughs> Shiver me, chatters! Who's laughing? Ooh, that really sounded like an evil witch's laugh. We have big problems. You don't sound scared at all, Susie! Shame on you! Don't worry, anyway. I'll protect you and the dress. Here's the last crease. And done. Now all of the pieces are ready. Let's layer them up. We'll attach them one by one, turning the stand when needed. There we go. Just imagine how the lush skirt will swirl on the dance floor. Actually, we can see it right now. Come on, Belle, dance for us. Sammy, what do you think? We need more layers on that skirt, and I found something useful. It totally slaps. Guys, do you see? You don't need that much to make an amazing dress. Let's cover the clay skirt with pieces of white and pink net fabric. And what would Belle's dress be without roses, right? Stay tuned. This is it. Now the skirt has even more texture. Oh, it's really stunning. Guys, give a thumbs up. Let's add some glamour! Our fashion house is called Samshine for a reason! Check out this beautiful sparkling belt! It highlights Belle's figure. I remember that the designer promised us the decor with roses. That's right! So go ahead and dig out some flowers from the neighbor's garden! First, this is not a shovel. Second, I think that might be stealing. <laughs> I got you, Susie! You're so easy to prank! Take the delivery! What delivery? Ah, oh, got it! What a vibrant pink color! It's Samshine brand color! The pinker the better! I got the assignment. We'll grow roses out of this piece of craft paper. Yep! First, take the piece that will help us grow petals ten times faster! Wow, that sounds like a great crafting tip! Guys, watch carefully! Then, cut out the shape of a petal using scissors! Easy peasy! Just don't forget to fold the paper several times! It really is easy! Check this out, we're making multiple petals with one cut! Be careful with the scissors, guys! We've made enough to create at least one flower! Let's get started! Add some volume to the petal! Wrinkle the edges a bit! Guys, be careful! The petals are very fragile! Be gentle with them! You don't have to make them perfect! The petals do have various shapes! Let's gather them in a rosebud. Layer the petals together one by one, just like this. Tale is old as time, soon is old as song. Oh, no, I forgot the lyrics. Hey, Belle. Come on, Belle, don't be so grumpy. What else can I do? Wait for a second. I'm almost finished with the first rose. Here, this must help. Belle is a fan of roses. Just what I need. Thanks, Susie. Let's attach it to the hem. Oh, I remembered. Tale is old as time, song is old as rhyme. Rose shower! Who wants to decorate the dress? Sounds like a job for me! Can I use a bit of magic? One, two, and three! Wow, this is amazing! Oh no! This shouldn't have happened! Hmm, maybe the spell was too strong, but we can use these anyway. Help me, Susan! First the evil witch, now that! Please save Sunshine! <laughs> okay, I'll be your fairy godmother this time. Let's add some petals to the hem of the dress right in between the rosebuds. 
After that, let's decorate the waist. Bell, hands up! Such a cool design! Guys, what do you think? It's a new hit! Sue, we need a bit of sparkle! You're a genius, Sammy, as always! I know! Let's add some glitter to our dress. Now our bell is defo ready for the runway. 